Hi, in this video we're looking at the seven diatomic elements. Now what's a diatomic element? Well diatomic means two atom. Monatomic means one atom. And a diatomic element is something that can't exist monatomically. It can exist just as a single atom by itself. It must only exist as a two atom element. Um, let me give you an example. Oxygen can never be by itself as one oxygen atom. It has to buddy together with another oxygen atom. And as I look at this, it kind of looks a little creepy. Um, but this is how oxygen exists naturally if it's by itself. Now, oxygen can certainly be part of other compounds with other elements. And in that scenario, you can just have one oxygen atom. But if it's a pure oxygen uh, sample, it's going to actually pair together in this way as O2. And there are seven elements that do this um, in the universe. It's hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, fluorine, iodine, and bromine. And if you're ever writing these as part of a chemical uh, equation, let's say, you wouldn't write them just as their element symbol. You'd have to put a little subscript 2 after it, which implies that there are two atoms bonded together for each of these elements. Now you can remember this as Honkel Fibber. That's a good mnemonic device to remember what the seven elements are. Um, or as my first chemistry teacher taught me, Brinkelhoff. Or you can remember 7-Up. And you need to look at a periodic table for this one. If you find element number 7, there it is, nitrogen, um, then you start making a 7 with the uh, elements. So N, O, F, C, L, B, R, and I. Those six elements actually make kind of like a number seven. And then you just have to remember that hydrogen is the up part, so seven up. So uh, those are diatomic elements. There are seven diatomic elements. They're elements that are unstable on their own, so they have to pair together. This is gonna come in handy quite a bit uh, when we start to write equations that represent chemical reactions. If there are ever any one of these seven elements that's just by itself, it's got to be represented diatomically, not monatomically. Thank you.